It's amazing how you are like like so down to earth that you relate to every nigga out there, man. I can say the nigga word, right? You say fuck nigga and all that, right? Man, come on, man. I don't want it's Spike Lee to ban your shit, man. Uh, yo, Spike Lee's going at everybody saying the N-word, man. Hey, man. When I say what I say, bro, I'm a grown-ass man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, anybody that got that's on you, man. You know what I'm saying? You need to handle that with your God. That ain't got nothing to do with you. Isn't that crazy? Imagine, like, he he, ta he hears your record and counts on me until you say nigga, and then he tries to boycott you. Like, that's just crazy. I mean, I would like him to say, I would like him to at least have a conversation with me personally before he work out with Exactly. So he'll meet me and realize what type of person that I am because I got the utmost respect for him. Mm. So it won't be, it's not like I was doing it to go against him. I don't even know him. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So for him to hear minds and then try and go against me, that'd be kind of backwards. We're supposed to be trying to help each other as black people. You know what I'm saying? I don't know him, so I wouldn't do nothing to offend him. But if he heard my song and then boycotted me to basically take me out of the game, that'd be kind of crazy. But I, I, like I said, man, I hope he'll talk to me first before something crazy like that happens. Because you know, it wouldn't make no sense. Exactly. I'm not against you. I'm with you. I'm sorry for cutting you off. How does it feel to have all this energy, though? Like, I just spoke to Pusha T, and he would do a record with you. Like, every artist is on your energy right now. Like, how does that feel? I mean, it's a blessing, bro. It's a blessing, bro. And, I, and the reason that it's probably like that, man, is because I don't force it, man. I just, the person that you're hearing in music, man, is, is me. It's who I am. Now, whatever perception that you pick up from the music, it could be a wrong perception of me. Because you just took it the wrong way. Mm. So when you get to talk to me and I explain to you why I said that, then you'll be like, oh, okay. All right. Like the pot de mala I'm sweating. Woo, right? Mm. But to, to, the, to the normal ear, that's either the catchiest shit ever or the most coolest shit ever. Whoever mm. you are. That's For me, the person who made it, the first time I ever did a molly, it went, it, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Like, I was like, oh, shit, whoa, that shit's crazy. And when I was writing the verse later on, yeah. or whatever, I was like, I'm just going to put exactly what I did because that's just how real my music is. It's like, that's exactly what I did when I first took them out. I was like, oh, whoa. <laughs> sweating like a motherfucker had me sweating. You know what I'm saying? Like, I said, what really happened, my G? So, <laughs> what's up, my shit, or whatever, and then just start blatantly going off on me. I mean, it's your opinion. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Merry fucking Christmas. But you don't really know me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you don't really understand where I was coming from. But you, 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 you know how this hip-hop shit is. We, uh, you know, the whole community gets confused when something incredibly new comes out. And it's so fucking different. And it's like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, even when I first saw you, I was like, oh, shit. I love the music and I never saw your whole image. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, shit. Like, you have such a shock value when people and first man, see you. I appreciate you. You did that. You did that on purpose, or was that planned, or that's you? That's that's right. who you are, man. When when I tell you, man, that everything, I'm man. The only thing I can say to you, man, is I might be the most brought, brought put everything on the table type of guy that ever came into the game, man. Mm. Like it's on the table, at least in the last since two thousand. So you either gonna hate me for what you know, or you or, or it's whatever, or you or you gonna fuck with me forever, because I don't want you to fuck with me for some shit that I fabricated, and then when you finally find out, you hate me worse than anybody who already hated me. It's because niggas hate. And then I lose everybody. Mm -hmm. And I'm walking mm -hmm. around here working at Walmart. <laughs> oh, that's the all the girls who I fucked around this age, when they like 37, mm. they're like, oh, they're going to all go, man. They're going to all all go. <laughs> <laughs> as hell, girl. You over here packing girl, bags and shit. I don't want to be that guy, man. <laughs> 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 I don't want to be that guy. Nobody wants to be the guy who had a song that was popping off of the chain and then he just fall off because it was fake. It wasn't real. Mm, yeah, you know? you're right. I promise you, whether it's this year or 10 years down the line, when, when, you, when, when people find out that you was faking some shit, bro, it's the worst shit ever, man. You're, 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 the, <laughs> you have a fascination with gold. Can you explain that or that that's just you? I promise you, man, it's just me. It's like, um, I love gold. Mm. I love that, you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as jewelry. If it's jewelry for me, it's going to be gold. My dad wore gold. I loved the 90s, and gold was that thing in the 90s or whatever. I'm a vintage type of person. So, yeah, 
the multiple yeah, rings man. is ill though. You yeah, like because you know Lloyd Banks used to do the the three four rings, but he had the white gold and all the diamonds. But you straight up went in with the gold rings though. I see. I feel with the with the white diamonds or whatever. And Lloyd Banks, that, that dude was amazing to me. <laughs> by the way, that's hot. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a super good rapper. Um, but um, he actually got one of the hardest lines that I ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like he said something about like I'm gonna bank here or looking at the bank here and make this bitch bounce. And wow, yeah, I remember that. Bank head, <laughs> yeah. bank head, and then that bitch can bounce. Yeah, that shit. That's oh, off the wow, off gene and shit. <laughs> you gotta think about it, bro. I'm in Atlanta. And I'm like, this is New York. Up North, dude, just did the hardest bank headline mm-hmm. that I ever heard. I was <laughs> like, oh, man, that's the hardest hell. But anyway, besides that, <laughs> that. that's real right there. You just shocked me with that. Nah, man. I, I really, I mean, I really fuck with music, man. I'm not mm. just this fucking character that people. Make me out to be man, you know what I'm saying. That's why I'll be happy to talk to people like yourself. Yeah, make yeah, make make make, make it clear it. that you didn't just pop up. I want to be a rapper last month, and uh, I did my uh, album man, in a know, week in a hotel. Know. Like, can you make that clear? I've been hearing a lot of bullshit yeah, rumors. Look, this is what it really is, man. Or whatever. I've always loved music. Always, always, always loved music. Or whatever. It ain't never gonna change. Whether they kick me out of the game, I stay in the game. It ain't mm. never gonna change because I love music. You know, it is in the hood. Everybody got the, the home studio. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Regular hood nigga shit. And then I went over there. I used to come over there and chill and hang with them. Or whatever. They was like, man. <laughs> so I just jumped on the track, right? You know what I'm saying? Because I used to, like, freestyle and play around when I was, like, 15, 16. Mm. But, you know, life got real and, like, started working and hustling. I was like, I ain't doing no rapping. They ain't giving me no money. You know what I'm saying? don't make no sense. So you just leave it alone. But I really love music. So I did a to make a long story short, did a did a track, right? And they was like, man, this shit hard. The track was so hard, they made another song out of sampling a part of my verse on the original song. And then I did a verse on that song or whatever, and it was like, damn, that shit hard too, bro. Like, bro, you should really do this shit. So we was doing like little performances here and there in Atlanta or whatever, da da da. It's like five, six different niggas on the song. Or whatever, we weren't even no group. Just five niggas going, who was all in the house at the time. Oh, random. It was just like, just random. let's get out there and just. <laughs> yeah, we all partners. You know, yeah. Or whatever, but it was just like, oh shit. It's a family song. Woo-hoo. <laughs> you know this guy's crazy. Damn. Man. So I say this year, um, Super Bowl time, I'm just have a person, man, if shit ain't really working out, bro. Hell no, nah. I'm not finna keep. I'm not gonna keep betting on something that ain't winning, bro. Yeah, that's like Damn, good bro. I'm, I'm gonna get out of there, man. So I said, fuck doing music. I'll continue to help y'all on the on on the back end or whatever, no homo or whatever. As far as like, goddamn, getting them clothes because I ran the boutique. You know, I had a job. Like, I oh, job, so now I, it makes sense. Okay, the, the fashion the shit is coming to play yeah. now. Okay. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? That's why, like, I was able to get them clothes, and I had good relationships with people who shop with me mm. for photo shoots. And I was just trying to be that good cousin, homeboy, or whatever, who don't want nothing from nothing. I just want to see him make it. You know what I'm saying? Wow. But I ended up jumping on the track, and it was dope. That's Damn, one saying. verse. Yo, isn't that amazing? Like, you have one, it's like one verse and a hook, and it's like the biggest record. Like, I, I can't, the reaction, I was in Toronto, everybody was screaming that record. Right, it's all about it. See, music, man. See, a lot of people get caught up in what music was and what music is and what music's supposed to be. Music is just music, bro. It's just, it's it's just, just a, a universal man. language, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like, bro, when I said my side bitch, my main bitch, because my main girl ain't feeling me no more. That's just real, I though. Say, my, did I say my main black girl or my main Asian girl? Yeah. No, my main girl. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever your main bitch is. You know what I'm saying? That's for you. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah! So you can be Asian, you can be a Chinese man, you can be Indian, and however they girl troubles work, that's what it's about. Mm. I said, chick, my music is for everybody, man. It ain't to make you sit back there and have to think about, well, what did this half of it mean? That ain't me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For the as people, I like to listen to that. I like to listen to that from time to time. Conscious rap. Lyrical shit, you know. What I'm saying? I like to decipher people's lyrics or whatever. Mm. It's dope, but that's not me, bro. And I don't want to do that. You know, what I'm saying I want to bring my own flavor. This nigga, anybody can go do karaoke. 
<laughs> that, don't mean, that don't mean that, that don't mean that anybody goddamn can go do a song or whatever to actually make some money and make people believe in you. Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be uh, down with the Atlanta Illuminati? You know how everybody links up. It's like the Lil Wayne's I mean, and the Rick Rosses. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. If they, that's they, what really happens. And like I said, I'm brand new in this game, bro. Yeah, brand new. You know what I'm saying? And um, if that's really what go down, bro. Then y- y'all ain't gonna see me no more. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, man, I just won't be as famous as maybe I could have been. Oh, Whatever, shit, right? man. I got all different type of friends, man. I was born in Trinidad. Wow. So I got Caribbean ties, guarantee. That's the only reason I call myself Trinidad James. You be, eating that, you, you be eating that Kalalu and all that shit? Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Kalalu, kid. You know, all that boo boo looking shit. You know what I'm saying? That, you, that's, that's why I was born. That's my descent. You know, that's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and I and I'm proud. Of, I'm proud to be born from in Trinidad, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm super happy. You kind of like you kind you, you kind of like shocked the hip hop community with the you know two million dollar deals. You know you don't really hear about that. Too tough. Like you just got like a man, big deal. The, the one thing mad I, promo. So what people tend to forget, man. Or actually, they just forget. They just don't know. Mm. When people don't understand something, they just come up with all type of assumptions. Oh, he's walk. He's walking around Atlanta with a million dollars in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm walking around Atlanta with a million dollars in ones in my skinny jeans. Sure, <laughs> fucking sure, man. Sure, man. Of course I am, nigga. Of course, I know. Oh yeah. shit! I'm, I'm bouncing on the money like a pogo stick. That's what I'm doing. Yo, so oh, man. Trinidad, can we expect a, uh, a all gold everything remix with any like official remix? Or yeah. is is that the one way uh, French Montana official, or do you have a, a real one getting done, or you don't want to do a remix? Now, what you call it, man? To be honest with you, I'm, I'm a, I, it's one of those type of things where I've been torn different ways with it. I wanted it, I didn't want it. I yeah. was over it. I was like, ah, blah blah blah. Niggas did their verses. Some was cool. Some was different. Some was like, okay. But as far as, like, I have a plan in my mind, bro, but I like to go ahead and, and do things, and then we talk about it after it's done. I don't like to talk about things before it happens. Okay, because yeah, I yeah. like to only talk about I mean, I, I heard rumors I Drake Drake is going to get on that. That's the rumor in my rumor mill. You know, I'm in the industry. I so. mean, bro, to be honest with you, I, I, you can't expect to hear anybody on my shit, really, like official, that mm. I never met. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm a... I'm a big fan of the guy, but I never met him. So I'm saying that one day when I do, hopefully we're not even thinking about all go everything. Like that's in the past. Like mm-hmm. let's work on something new. You know what I'm saying? All go everything. It was that? That was out in October, right? <laughs> that was that- yeah, I was like, oh, that's a, original, man. Like you can't. It's hard. Like but mm-hmm. like this, man. I always somebody put me up on game. I can't remember who just told me this recently or whatever. So when they hear this, hopefully they don't think that I'm trying to be a fuck nigga. Somebody <laughs> told me. This. <laughs> Whatever. So I'm telling you back what somebody told me. Yeah. Clarify that. That the best songs, man, are ones that when you try to emulate it, you can't rap like yourself. Mm. You got to rap like the person. That's when the song is really doing something. That's crazy. You got to change your whole fucking vibe and your style to relate to, to this. Be, to rap like this person. <laughs> so you got to be that special it, dude. I'm the dude who only been rapping for. I'm the dude who only been rapping for less than a year. Mm. Damn. That's crazy. Yo, you know that's great. Killing the so scene. No, you know, there's not no bragging, but yeah. that's what the definition of a good song is. Whether you, whatever you take it for, whether you take it as ignorant, the song did what it's supposed to do, and it's doing it very well. Unlimited spins, and of course, you even got Diplo going nuts. He was on my show last week. He said, "I got to do a song with this guy." Is that going down? I, I heard you guys. Are- I, I just, that's so crazy. I just met him two nights ago. Or whatever, like you know, like like really met him. I didn't even know who he was. That's and crazy. I was talking to him, or whatever, um, a couple times, or whatever. Or like, well, you know, on Twitter and text messages, but I never seen the guy. And he walked up on me, or whatever. <laughs> the white dude. I was, I was like, hey, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you were all shocked. That you, <laughs> I don't know that Jay's gonna be shocked at Diplo. <laughs> Check me out, man. Check me out, man. <laughs> I, I still didn't know who he was. The type of dude that I am, I respect people. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody, <laughs> nobody. The same way that I would treat whoever you think is God, I would treat you, bro. Exactly. The same exact way. 
That's big right there, man. Shout out to Raven Simone. I had her up here. And uh, I didn't know that was your cousin, son. Raven Simone? It, it, says, it says it online that she's your cousin. Was that bullshit? See, was that, was that bullshit? Yeah, it, say, it, it says uh, you're supposed to be Raven Simone's first cousin. Is that true? But I, 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 we don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get the lesbian. I wanted to get the lesbian uh, secrets out, man. Damn, true. Oh. <laughs> Yo, knowing you, I know you got a girl on girl record coming out. Is do you have a girl on girl record? Cause that shit's big out there. Do I got that? Do I got that? I don't know, man. I don't know if I got that or whatever. I don't know if I got that. I know that. I know that I got some real ass music for you, bro. I feel like a lot of people are going to miss the message, bro. Like, for real, for real. Like, it's going to take people a, a, a minute. To be honest with you, bro, this is how real this shit is, bro. Niggas ain't going to really understand my music until other people start doing music just like mine. Yeah, and then, then, it, then it's, it's going to make like sense. So many people doing their music. So many, so many people doing that genre of music, and that's what type of strings you're starting to hear on the radio. And then you're going to be like, damn, bro, we're speaking that real shit for real. 